days next door Well, I grew up fast, I guess I grew up mean. There's a thousand things inside my head I wish I ain't seen Now I just wander through a real bad dream And I'm feeling like I'm coming apart at the seams Thank you, Jack Daniels, oh, number seven Tennessee whiskey got me drinking in heaven now Can't you start to look good to me? You're gonna have to deport me to the fiery deep Thank you, Jack Daniels, oh, number seven Tennessee whiskey drinking in heaven now No, I can't stay Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Duncan Showroom. All the people in the room, a sold-out house with a bit more than extra. You know, there's a few extra things. This is so cool to see. Where were you guys last night when we needed you for the Son of Dave? My goodness, you know. And all the other shows that we do. But I know you're all fans of Connie Calder, so that's real cool. Um, we're going to be doing two sets tonight because she's got some of the neatest product that they've ever I've ever seen uh, out here. That, and so during the break, we'll, we'll uh, let you guys get a chance to go over and see what she's got. Uh, we're going to have popcorn. Um, I might be able to start a batch just before the break. I hate having it pop during the break, especially during a sensitive song. <laughs> so we don't do that. Now, I know there's a, bu uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of people who have never been here before. Put your hands up. Good. So I just so you have an idea that everything you see here, nothing's for sale. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> you can look at it. You can touch it. You can pick it up. If you break it, well, I'll charge you double. But it's all here just for the perusing and just to help keep you from t reality out of the way, right? So you come in here and you just get in a buzz and go, what's going on here? I mean, we've got all our ducks in a row. <laughs> those are duck banks. Does anyone remember those duck banks? They came from Burke's Jewelry. And they came with a little pink scarf and a pink toque or a blue scarf and a blue toque. And what happens is the more you gather things and you get more than one of something, you have to start finding out what the history is and everything else. So if you need any stories for any of the ones, I'll give you one. Whether it's true or not makes no difference. It's a good story, each and every one of them. <laughs> things I do like to remind people, though, that are new. We, those theater seats, which is why the Duncan Showroom started uh, 19 years ago. Yes, we've been open 19 years as of last month. Isn't that cool? <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. But we've done it, and uh, it all started off because I answered an ad in the paper for 150 soft seat theater seats for free. I was able to pick them up on December 26th, which was the day after the 25th, which was a Saturday, which was the last day the people in Souk, the Jehovah Witnesses, needed to use them. Yes, those seats are from the Jehovah Witnesses, so if at any time during the show you get the urge to start knocking on door and handing out literature, could you make sure it's ours? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, what else? I got a new t-shirt. I got this at the Art Walk, the CVAC Art Club. I don't know if you got a chance to catch that this year. We're going to work it into the 39 days of July. But they took Station Street from Craig down to the to Canada Avenue and brought all these artists in. And it went right till 5 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, which you could never have convinced me would work. But they were still selling stuff at the end of the day. It was so cool. Anyway, my t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> took me a week to decide I was going to wear it because you, know, you never know. Uh, <laughs> What sucks? Anyway, uh, what are the other things? Lots of great stuff coming up. Make sure you get our sheet that's uh, for the next shows coming up. I want you to come to as many as you can. We've got to keep this place and open. Donate. So, And donate. Speaking of donation, this lady up here, uh, uh, Marsha Todd, has actually, over the, the last, during COVID, now, put a lot of money into it, sometimes $1,100, $1,200 checks during this, the months where we were having a rough go. And just before the uh, festival, she gave us $10,000, so we didn't have to worry about the rent here while we put on the 39 days of July. <laughs> now, as Marcia says, it's not about the recognition, because she also does the Shamanist Theater, and she does that, but she's in a position to do that. And if anybody else is, it sure helps to, for people to come forward and do that. And the last time we talked about that, there was a lady from Peterborough who was here that night, and before she left the room, she donated $500. You know, and it helps keep us going, helps pay the rent, pay the expenses and everything else. It, you know, we could have maybe done this cheaper, but this is what we got. It's so damn cool. I love it. I just like, like our Fred Astaire. Yeah. See, this is an audience that will understand that. I tell it to the young bands. They don't get it. Who's Fred Astaire? But we know, we all know who Connie Calder is, don't we? Yeah. And what are we here for tonight? Connie Calder. Yeah. Okay, let's give her a loud, warm applause and welcome her to the Couch and Valley. Connie Calder, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, welcome to the... That was Longevity John, the patron saint of thrift stores everywhere. 
I know. I just wander around. I, I covet many things here, but I know that we have a van and it's full already. So I'm not tempted to try and talk him out of it. But we've been starting our sets in BC with this song, which I haven't done for a while. But I just I don't know. We were coming over the rock. It was absolutely beautiful. The drive to I mean. It is just, the Rockies are just stunningly beautiful, especially in the sun, in these gorgeous peaks and everything. And this is, a, although this is not above the ro- about the Rockies at all, but it's inspiring. And I wrote this song, Going Over the Rockies, many years ago on a ukulele. And I wrote it about the great men of British Columbia because I figured there were hardly any songs about that that I'd heard of. So I don't know what the deal is with that, guys. Uh, I'd get working on it if I were you. <laughs> But I imagine that, you know, somewhere, I saw this, I saw this little vignette uh, when I was, we were filling up with gas, and it was in the Rockies several years ago, and there was a guy, a good-looking guy, and he, 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 I think he was like a park ranger or something, or, you know, working out in the, the woods or something, he had a little uniform, a little something, and he was in this, you know, Jeep, and he's filling up his Jeep, and right on the other side of the pumps was this very lovely young woman, say, about the same age, in a really hot car and everything, but she was looking at that guy. As she was filling her tank, and went, hmm, oh my goodness. And she had Quebec plates on. And I just thought, okay, this is the song she's going to send when she writes that note to her parents in Montreal that she sold the car. She won't be coming back to finish off her med school. And she's running off to an off-grid cabin somewhere, or maybe in a trailer in Whitehorse (laughs) for the winter. (laughs) And she's going to work part-time for David Suzuki. I don't ask for much in this big old world. Fancy things, they just get in the way. Someone who loves me Holds me close and tells me they will stay So up where the road goes up a mountain And it stops and you've got to walk a while That's where that someone is waiting And everything I need is in his smile Cause he's as warm as the sun on the beach Sparkling mountain stream, and he's he's as sweet as Okanagan peaches. That's my Rocky Mountain dream. Now that line, Okanagan peaches, is the my favorite part of that song. And if you are with me and want to like sing along on that great line, you're free to do so and practice up, you know, or sing it to your date. We're all in the right province for this. Now some have a bank and that's where their heart is. Some hand it out to every stranger walking by. Some think it's a race and they don't know where the start is. My heart's where the mountains reach up to touch the sky. Cause he's he's as warm as the sun on the beach too. He's as cool as a sparkling mountain stream And he's as sweet as Okanagan peaches That's my Rocky Mountain dream And late at night when I'm stuck in the city Where I can barely see the moon or the star shine above I sit and count the minutes till I know I can leave What I love, cause he's as warm as the sun on the beaches. He's as cool as a sparkling mountain stream. And he's as sweet as Okanagan peaches. That's my Rocky Mountain dream. Yes, he's as warm as the sun on the beaches. He's as cool as a sparkling mountain stream and he's as sweet as Okanagan peaches that's my Rocky Mountain dream that's my Rocky Mountain dream thank you
Yeah, I love, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is about that Okanagan Peaches line, but I just love it. It's, it's very shallow of me, but I do. Of course, I dream that someday some like beer company is going to pick it up and make, get, start taking pictures where people can send in the pictures of their Okanagan peach guy or whatever, or partner of any kind, actually. And we do a whole, they do a whole thing of people sending in their portrait of the Rocky Mountain Dream. Okay, this, we were just talking. Well, of course, I have to, I'll just thank Tina and for our, our hosts this evening. They're putting this up. Relatives, they have to. There's nothing they can do. We call, we guilt them into it. They have to put on new sheets. It's, it's, a, it's a sad thing, but we do it anyway. As we know, the food's way better. Anyway, they introduce us to their dog. It's fabulous. But you know, we have a... <laughs> he didn't bite us. It was good, it was good. We were just talking about the last few years and the last time we've been here, despite all these things that have changed and gone through and stuff that we could never have foreseen would happen. I mean, a pandemic, oh my goodness. It's like, I don't know. It's like winning the oh my goodness lottery or something. Like, it's like who would have thunk it? And all of these things that happen that you don't even predict, you don't think, your life's just like, Oh, my life is just going to zoom along. This is what's going to happen. We're going to tour here. We're going to place now and there. We're going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be this. You know, you just start planning out your life. I know they tell you to plan out your life. But every time I plan, I don't know if you find this, every time I plan out my life, I'm wrong. It's discouraging. It's very discouraging. I think I plan out like at an hour a time now. I've gotten it down. Uh, and I, I refuse to like tidy up too much either because who knows what could happen. I mean, why tidy up here? There could be an earthquake. There could be a you know tsunami. You never know. Just don't tidy. Don't roll your underwear. Who knows? Who's gonna look in your drawer and see your underwear? Just don't roll it up. Just read the book once and put it aside. Really. Anyway, this is a. Uh, oftentimes things happen that you just do not expect that you don't see coming. Oftentimes, well. The good ones you don't really pay that much attention to. It's the bad ones that really trip you up. I think the weird things that happen. You justify all like a public defender. Your heart's like a butter knife, delicate, tender. You hear the echoes of words that you send her. All of the chances you've blown. Oh, no, you have been. Mistaken, your bridges are burning or seriously shaken. If this is a dream, you would like to awaken. But life has a mind of its own. Yes, life has a mind of its own. And just when you think you've it all figured out, something roars in and it turns you about. And there's nothing to do but go horse as you shout. Life has a mind of its own, yes. Life has a mind of its own. And why is life not the white cliffs of Dover instead of lessons learned over and over? I'm standing in sand, but I'm dreaming of clover. Some paths are just overgrown. So you then you find it's uphill You're sure that you won't Then you find that you will Life can surprise you still Life has a mind of its own yes. Life has a mind of its own And just when you think you've it all figured out Something roars in and it turns you about And there's nothing to do but go horse as you shout Life has a mind of its own, yes. Life has a mind of its own. And is this how love starts when you finally give up? Some little pup. Each time there's a ring on the phone, best keep your eyes open and keep your friends near. Be sure of all the things you 
oh dear, you can try to predict it, but one thing is clear, life has a mind of its own. March of 2020, I officially released my album entitled Everyday Moments. When we had two more years of only everyday moments. <laughs> I'm beginning to think I should write a, you know, psychic column or something. <laughs> but it came out of, uh, came out of a friend of mine asking me to write about, she said, nobody ever sings about all the stuff we do every day. She's a mother, she has six kids, she works all, she's the kind of person that will tidy up your kitchen while you're making her tea, like that. I love this person. But she, you know, she says all the stuff we do and nobody ever mentions it. And all that. You know, I, I have a, I have a, <laughs> I used to have an apron in my kitchen. A woman's work is never done or paid or appreciated or, you know, one of those. But she said, Connie, I want you to write a song about those kinds of things, things that I do every day. And, and I said, well, you know, I'm, you're, you're an expert and I'm like about a neophyte. But even if you do it badly, you're still doing it, I figured. And so I just kind of put it in the back of my mind as maybe perhaps inappropriate, you know, subject matter for a song that would make people happy. But um, it's, it's kind of stayed there. And I said, yeah, I'll give it a try. Anyway, second thing that influenced this song or that kind of bunched together was a friend of mine was dumped after 20 years and three kids. And the line she was given was, she hadn't contributed enough. <laughs> I know. We'll get to that later. A <laughs> bunch of songs I got out of that. I tell you, I'm so lucky to have friends who have made bad choices. It's just <laughs> great. It's material. It's just excellent. We've come to the conclusion, bad choices make the best songs. Really, that's the songwriter's dream. A silver lining in every cloud, even if it's not your own cloud. But the third thing that tipped it over is a three trifecta of things that started this song. And it was I was sitting in my kitchen. Now I was, I don't know if it's on, online, on, on Facebook, or on a, an ad in a newspaper or something like this, but the, there's a title. And I think it was a pension ad or something like that. The, 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 the title of this big ad was, What Does Your Life Add Up To? ideas just kind of crash together and beg to get out. We'll tell you what our life adds up to. Would you get your pants out? A thousand meals, a thousand dishes, how many birthday cakes, a thousand hugs, a thousand kisses, a thousand small mistakes, a thousand wiping down the tables, pushing in the chairs, a thousand baskets barely carried, Heavy up the stairs, God knows how many washes and folds, and picking ups, and tucking ins, and colds. Not the things that make you money, or a household name. Not the kind of things that get you ahead in the game. They are the thousand don't do that. A thousand take your boots off and don't forget your hands. A thousand picking up, dropping off some cheering when they play. A thousand getting home from work and getting groceries on the way. 
God knows how many Legos and blocks and play and catch and matching up socks. Not the things that make you money or a household name. Not the kind of things that get you. Thank you. I should introduce my my band up here. I'm a fan. Like, I don't know. Being from Saskatchewan and having a family band, finally, it's like I feel like I should get an accordion and head to the Legion Hall. But there you go. But I did play the long game as a folk singer. I went for the family harmonies. Nine months and eighteen years later, I got it. <laughs> I think me and Sherry Elric are the only people that say we gave birth to our backup band. We're <laughs> hanging on to that. Paul Kao Pang on the bass and guitar, my producer of my albums and co-producer of my children. <laughs> and Alexi Kao Pang. <laughs> I feel like, uh... like I know so many of you and there's family and friends I'm hearing out there. Thank you. That's great. There's a point in a person's life, it happened a couple of, a couple of years ago, where I realized the chance of an Olympic career was not gonna happen. <laughs> no. Anyway, but if I could become a member of the Olympic Committee somehow, somehow they just catapulted me into a position of power in the Olympic Committee, I would arrange to have a medal for every single parent in the world. <laughs> Get the lunches in the morning, fill the Tupperware with pie. Get the kids off to school with a kiss goodbye. All day long I'm working, God knows I'll try. When it's four in the morning, I cry. I don't want the kids to worry, not their fault, this you and I. When the groceries when I'm moving, tell my friends I'm getting by. Read the bedtime story covered with a lullaby. When it's four.
It's with the night, he's darkest, not a star in the sky. When it's four in the morning, I cry. Put away the memories in the attic way up high. Yes, I taped up box of photographs labeled. Now, any of you who are thinking of being mean to a friend of a folk singer, just reconsider. Because <laughs> you could find yourself in a song. <laughs> and we could record it, and then she can circle it and send it to your mom. <laughs> this is for all of you who have been dumped in the last little while. You don't have to put up your hands. It's fine. You just... Uh, unless you want to, unless it's bad, you know, you're looking. Work through those two little words, can bulldoze through a light. There's someone new, those three cut through like a racket. Straight and narrow, but the mighty curve. You found out just a little too late. Some folks have a best before date. But anyway, you got better things to do. 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 You got better things to do than crying for love. But it's your life, you get to choose You don't know where you're going, but you don't care Cause any place is better than there And anyway, you've got better things to do You've got better things to do You've got better things to do You've got better 
better things to do. You've got better things to do than crying for love. My son Alex, he actually has his own career going and uh, has a great band. and So we want to give you a little taste of what he does. Okay. You got a wah-wah for your violin? What? I don't have a wah-wah, but... But he'd love to. He's got about That's everything else. I got though. about everything else, yeah. Um, I have a pog, I have... I bought a pedal that's literally called Super Ego Plus. I mean, <laughs> what? The, I mean, this is what happens. I wish when I didn't have to buy it. It's, it's so useful, but I wish I didn't have to buy it because it's such a dumb name. But, <laughs> anyways, no, I actually. So I, I have like a loop station, and I have all sorts of things. And um, a while back, I made an arrangement of of a Connie song uh, with with this loop station and. Um, well, I one, I recorded on my first EP, which it turns out you can get the rights to a song when your mom wrote it um, <laughs> for recording quite easily. Um, and then uh, it turned out to be very useful during the pandemic when I had to do everything alone, so um, <laughs> with the loop station and all that. So uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where that com is, is about. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the song. I'm just gonna do the song. <laughs> if I had wheels like a Chevrolet, I would roll on down that big highway and I wouldn't stop until I was by your side. If I had wheels I would ride, ride, ride. What would your mama say if she could see the way we kissed behind the backyard tree? She'd say those boys the love from dusk till dawn. But when the sun Wishes were money, I'd buy everything. If hopes were golden, I would wear your ring. If you hadn't gone to where the jobs were good, if you had written like you said you would. Chevrolet, oh, I would roll on down that big highway, and I wouldn't stop till I was by your side. If I had wheels, I would ride, ride, ride.
If you've got the ego boosting pedal on. That's right. That's right. As if a musician needs that. <laughs> oh, a guitarist. Yeah, oh, a guitarist. Oh, band. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's that's like uh, that's redundant, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> One gone. That's too many. Five gone. Way too many. Ten gone. Way too many, too many missing and gone. Twenty gone, way too many. Fifty gone, that's way too many. A hundred gone, way too many, too many missing and gone. Did they think you didn't matter, that you would not be missed? They didn't see the hearts shatter as they put you on that. They didn't see them wondering what happened to you. Well, the wind knows and the moon knows. Some son of a bitch knows too. Two hundred gone. Way too many. Five hundred gone. Way too many. A thousand gone. Way too many. Too many missing and gone. Somewhere there's a desk with a pile and a file with your face. Held back by budget cuts and the will to act and raise. Somewhere's a detective that knows someone's got a clue. Wondering why the story's on the back page when another case comes through. Twelve hundred gone. Way too many. Fifteen hundred. Way too many. Two thousand gone. Way too many. Too many missing and gone. How many candles up on the hill year after year? Way too many. How many people out on the streets who are not as they appear? Way too many. Are the ones who did this walking around thinking justice will not come? I hope they wake up screaming after dreaming of the sound of your mother's drum. Two thousand and one. Way too many. Two thousand and two. Way too many. Two thousand and three. Way too many. Too many missing and gone. Two thousand and four. Way too many. Two thousand and five. Way too many. When will it stop? Cause it's way too many. Too many missing and gone. Too many. 
many missing and gone. Too many missing and gone. Thank you. We're getting uh, like we we have some prairie folks out there. We list we brought Camus here. We spared no expense. We got out with the scissors in the back. Paul grew that stuff. Paul grew that. <laughs> we had no. We used no expense in our decor. That was a thrift store thing. Longevity, John. You're gonna love. These are all thrift store uh, thrift store vases here. I gotta hit the ones in Duncan and get some really fancy vases now. I'm kind of shamed by how how ordinary they look compared to the nutcracker with the legs that close on. <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> and somebody bought four of them. That's the other. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, this is about where where the farmer this where this wheat came from, where this kemut came from, and one of our good friends from just down the road is here tonight with two Saskatchewan types that escaped and now live on a boat. It's so exciting. Oh, they live on a boat. I love a boat. I love the ferry. I love the ferry. It's my Norwegian background. I get near a boat and I just want to conquer, rape, and pillage. I think that's probably where it comes from my Viking roots. Let's go out and raid someplace and get some goats. <laughs> anyway, this is about that place. It's uh, We have a high point. Uh, there's a little point. There's a little cairn. It's one of the high points in southern Saskatchewan. I don't want any smug little smiles there. The high point in southern Saskatchewan. Ah, oh, that's just them standing on their car. Yeah, yeah, okay, you are your mountains. Those, that's just so obvious. That's just so obvious. We got our small little rise there. We're, we're grabbing onto it with excitement. It's on the edge of the coolies. There is a down. There's not many downs or ups in Saskatchewan. There's a few dips. We're, we're, come on. Anyway, this is about, there's this, uh, this is uh, Paul's family farm, his uh grandparents homesteaded it and his father was born on the place there and, and now Paul's back there with his sisters farming it with his sister Solange and his nephew Mika I'm a tractor widow for part of the year and we have a, we have a we have a farm fest it's uh, usually in the end of July it's a bring your own everything festival don't like I don't want you to think of the island fest here or the you know, the Vancouver Island Fest or the Vancouver... I don't want you to think of those big things that actually have, you know, food and stuff. <laughs> tents. Well, we have a, a tent. It's, it's on our farm. We have met, You can ask for personal testimonials here from some of the people of our friends that have come. Anyway, I, I'm just... You know, we, we brought this so we could make all the prairie people a little nostalgic till they forget about what February looks like. Fall, which is lovely. I remember the dry. It's a hell, but it's a dry hell. That's what we kind of want you to be in the mood. But, but we could. Let's find out how many prairie people are. Let's do that. Alexi, let's play the famous folk dances of the prairie. the prairies people everyone else is too sophisticated they could be sitting on their hands <laughs> yep these are the people that would eat an Nanaimo bar stuffed in a pierogi if they could that would cover the two main food groups in the prairies right there right there you want to get them really get them going want to get them yeah oh what what Oh, I'm changing my set list here. It was so moody and so nice. I just. Going so well. 
It was going so well. And then I started, I mean, I mean, I should be like doilies. I could be giving away doilies, jellies. Probably those people that were clapping have a jellied salad mold somewhere in their storage room. Really? The little ones and yes, yes, and the little with the craft miniature marshmallows and stacked. Yes, I know they're out there somewhere. And the, there was always one woman who I called the Jello Whisperer because she could get them out quivering without any parts missing. So you could see all the layers of, you know, celery. Fruit cocktail, lime green jello, craft uh, miniature marshmallows, and, and dream whip on top, right? It's, it's, it, it's why we're strong today. It's all of that. Yeah, that's, that's right. We can survive anything. That's the. the actually, I'm, I ran into a woman whose mother had hoarded jello for about 40 years, and she's sending me some of her ancestral jello. <laughs> I'm going to post it when I cut. Yeah, it's ancestral jello. It's just that some part of that just is. You guys, my sons would not even try the jellied salad in Yorkton. They wouldn't. I know. Where is the strength? Come on. I've, I've tried, you know, hot sauce. and. You weren't there. You weren't there. <laughs> we actually had tomato aspic rabbits. Not to, if you think jello's bad, tomato aspic. Oh, clamato in a holding pattern. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, let's let's enough of that jellied salad business. Let's just, let's have a lighter tone to this. Where the 
and trees are majestic. They leave that to the sky. I'm a winner, but I'll be back by and by. so excited to sing this because we have our friends that are on a boat. They have a boat. They gave up northern Saskatchewan and came about a boat and they're in a boat at a key and a key. And part of me, I love sea shanties. I used to open for Stan Rogers when I started up my career and he always said, yeah, yeah, these great sea shanties, you know. Great Canadian sea shanty. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. We fire no gun, shed no tears. And let the Mary Ellen Carter rise again, rise again. You know, just want to <laughs> grab a drink and slam it on the table of some low-life bar and sing at the tops of your lungs when things get rough. The Nanaimo Bar. The Nanaimo Bar. You want to go to the Nanaimo Bar and slam down your... We were very excited when we found there actually was a Nanaimo Bar. <sighs> can, we, can, we, can we not? How can we not? But, um, did they have a Nanaimo Bar drink that was layered with, like... Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, this is for all you seafaring friends because, no, I didn't write a sea shanty because I come from Saskatchewan. And I'm about as far from the ocean as you could possibly get on this planet is right in the middle of Saskatchewan. But there was a moment I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany. I'd given up that dream of writing a sea shanty, getting you all to sing along, slam your flag and shout out loud in some low-life bar. But I realized... I have a friend who was dumped by her husband and ran off with an accordion player. Left her with four kids and no money. And I realized there are many different kinds of shipwrecks in this world. And there are many people who need something they can sing in a low life bar. So this is for all the women who had their pirates run off with all their booty or whatever it is they ran off with and left them because they need something to sing with a flag and in a low-life bar and they need something made just for them and this is it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I wrote, I sat down and, and I wrote us a, a she shanty. Yes. Hey. So this is what you have to come in on the court. You go. Oh, okay. I'm here getting in, and I can just you look. 
you never know you might need this song. So come all you women whose hearts have been broken, throw rose petals down at your feet. So you will remember with every step forward is better than one in retreat. And come all you women whose hearts have been broken, I'll feed you all peaches and cream. So you will remember it's sweet in season, the rest may look good, but they're not as they seem.
dreamt of a girl, pretty and true. She took my hand, I took hers too. We were about to make love, as lovers do. Before we could kiss, I woke up blue. Now I'd much rather be sleeping, much rather be dreaming. In a bed on a couch, in the grass, in the summer breeze. This world is cruel, dark and gray. When I'm sleeping, I dream it away. Dreamed I had wings like a birdie in a tree. I went through the sky. Look at the city, oh, I flew so high, my head in the clouds, but I woke up shackled, with my feet on the ground, now I'd much rather be sleeping, much rather be dreaming, in a bed, on a couch, in the grass, in the summer breeze, now this world is cruel, dark and gray, when I'm sleeping, I dream it away. Sisters and brothers, I'd much rather be sleeping, much rather be dreaming, in a bed, on a couch, in the grass, in the summer breeze, how this world is cruel, dark and gray, when I'm sleeping, I dream it away, this world is cruel, dark and gray, when I'm sleeping, I dream it away.
Again, enjoy that first set. Well, what's not to, what's not to enjoy? My goodness. You know, I, I'd like to bring up a point that I noticed. Uh, I tried to figure out how to say this best, and that is, there was a time when you didn't know who Connie Calder was, and you took a chance. And I remember in my lifetime, back in Ontario, when they did this series where they brought a lot of the Western acts out to uh, to the Ottawa area, and we got to exchange back and forth. When she first came out, it was like, who is this person? You know, and sometimes you have to take that chance to go find out someone new. There's a whole bunch of new people that are coming out that all come through here on tours that you should be taking a chance with. And we have our finger snap and toe tap and money back guarantee, which states that if you do not like the music within the first half hour, we'll gladly refund you your money. Yeah. But should I or my spotters take note that you were seen snapping your fingers, <laughs> tapping your toes, or making any of those absurd air band facial contortions, the guarantee's null and void, okay? <laughs> it's just the way it is. Um, has anyone ever had the opportunity to see Cougar Annie Tales? Yay! It's coming back next Sunday afternoon. You might want to check it. There's some great jazz in the evening that's coming on. Uh, with uh, Wayne Kozak's going to be sitting in with Jan. Uh, what's Jan's last name? Uh, <laughs> you too, eh? Well, there's so many names going through my head. Anyway, it's all online. You can check it out and find out where it is. Um, there's, uh, yeah, there's just a ton of stuff coming up. One of the things we're going to be doing, we would like to work with the Shawnigan players every so often. And this year... Oh, it's Jan uh, Randall. <laughs> yeah, James, Jan, Jan Randall. Randall. <laughs> but what we're doing um, this year, for the, they're doing the Crucible. What a play. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the stage and we're going to move it back a bit and we're going to have a seating like this, tiered the same way as it over there, and all the play will take place in the middle. It's a very cool way to witness it. It's a very cool way for the performers to have to project at that point. It becomes a little bit more lively, a little bit more three-dimensional instead of two-dimensional. It's kind of cool. That's got a run of uh, eight days coming up. You'll see it on the sheet because they're, they're doing rehearsals and things like that. Um, that just shows you that we are, we're not, there's not necessarily a dark night here. We're always doing something. And one guy just asked, he was looking at my record collection. Yes, there are nights where I do call it a spin in the house vinyl, and that is we, I come in and I turn on the, uh, the turntable and I just go through the album collection and I start picking out things that I, I hadn't heard for a long time or hadn't heard and figure let's give this a shot. Really amazed at what we've got here. It's kind of cool to go through that. No, they're not for sale. That's just the way it is. <laughs> just the way it is. So without further ado, let's give her the warmest welcome we can to get her back on stage. Connie Calder, please. <laughs> Well, we've had some requests, and, uh, and I'm always uh, try to fit them in. I can always fit them in. This song I I think about when I come on west, because I know so many of us, especially in February, start thinking of yeah, start thinking of getting out, get you know in in Edmonton. Oh my God! And then some really mean friend sends you pictures of tulips <laughs> as you're shoveling out your driveway. And by about the end of February, you're willing to go to Calgary as long as it's south, really. <laughs> but I imagine there are several prairie refugees that show up with their small suitcase wrapped in twine. car rattling over the Rogers Pass, stopping to throw their snow shovel out like the crutches at Lourdes. We ready for this? Every once in a while, in a woman's life, she's 
gonna pack her bags and hit that trail. She's got a bed farewell to the one she loves. She's got a case of is watching us online here, so streaming, Joyce, come on, so, yeah, hey, hi, Joyce, I know her from Regina, she's part of the Regina Folk Festival bunch and kept in touch over the years. So this is called Love Sask. involves Regina because oh if you Regina hey it's the name you don't say quickly <laughs> they had this contest at CBC a few years ago where you had to vote for a place in the province that you wanted someone to write a song about that you thought deserved a song and then they would force some folk singer to write a song about it but they uh and so I was really looking at Saskatchewan, my home province, you know, what are they gonna do? And there, you know, there's a list of names, but at the top of the list was Love Sask, Love Saskatchewan. Now, it's like the perfect metaphor for love and romance. I mean, it's tiny, you can't find it on a map. It's got a sign that says no services. And to top it all off, it's on the way to Prince Albert. I mean, it's just so great. But I voted and voted and voted for it. But you know, they're, they're on the, speaking of Regina, Regina was on that list as well. Now I love Regina, it's my hometown. I know the CKCKCK theme team, theme for Regina. Regina is the capital of the province. It's the home of the RCMP. It has the exhibition. And in addition, Regina has CKCK TV. That's what they had for the theme song, so. Maybe there is a reason they wanted to put Regina on the list, but. Man, the rhyme possibilities? Nah, just should have. Where's the quality control in the CBC? They should Anyway, more people in Re 
Regina, voted for Regina, so Regina won the contest. I thought it was just a crying shame. That little love sass just because it didn't have a lot of people didn't get, didn't get to win the contest. So I had my own Connie Calder contest and love won. I've written about Batash, I've written about a lot of places. And I've had a lot of mileage in my show at a climax, Saskatchewan. I know, it's so great. That's a little further south, though, than love. <laughs> and what's the sign you see as you're leaving climax, Saskatchewan? Thank you, come again. I know my son's rolling his eyes, and not that all joke, but... Someone once shouted out in a show in Saskatchewan, Yeah, Climax, you have to go through Conquest and Big Beaver to get there. <laughs> Look it up, it's on the map. A lot of nights that are lonely in Saskatchewan with nothing but a map. <laughs> have you ever been in love? Saskatchewan? It's a little town somewhere out there Along the tree line And if you go too fast You might drive on past But if you find yourself in love You can take it as a sign I think farm women Gave the name to love Saskatchewan Name it for us Instead of some old leaders Dead and gone Cause we work so many hours We grow our own flowers And when times are tough Love's all that keeps you Hanging on So when you're headed Sure you'll find your way Blue a 
starry skies above. The lucky and the shy say, when you are in love, that is a place you want to stay. When you are in love, that is a place you want to stay. This is a weird song. I mean, they're all about odd, I suppose, but. Oh no, the person who's never seen me before. Oh no, God, this word weirder than what she's been doing. Oh my lord. Get me another bag of popcorn. Because I love science and I love, uh, I mean, I love sci fi. I love science. Anything with the stars in the universe, I'm totally fascinated with. Quirks and Quarks is like one of my favorite radio shows. But yeah, I love that. I'm linked up to the, you know, James Webb Space Telescope thing. I, mean, I, just, I just think it's just amazing. And I think if you're from the prairies, those of you from the prairies know that the skies are so amazing there. And really, realistically, after... Probably the only thing going on after 9.30 in most small towns in Saskatchewan is uh, looking up there. I think it changes you when you look up and see, you know, galaxies and stars and start to think about just how amazing the distances and things are. I kind of like the fact it made me feel incredibly small and unimportant. And yet part of it all. That's the kind of cool thing about the skies for me. And if I could just like open up the roof of this place and, and douse every light in Duncan, we can look up. Wonder what they're thinking in Andromeda tonight. I wonder if they think like me Do they gaze to the stars of Andromeda Think about their closest galaxy Cause there are more stars in my universe And there are grains of sand Distances between them more than I can understand. But then sometimes I feel light years apart from people when I'm standing in a crowd. And imagination. I'll be on a magnetic cloud And I wonder what they're thinking In Andromeda tonight Wonder if they think like me Gaze to the stars of Andromeda Think about their closest galaxy
despite the human race. But then some decide at the speed of light that you have nothing to say. And I wonder if there's someone who's just like me. I'll be on Milky Way. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we got off the uh, we got off we got off the boat and we opened up the windows and we kept smelling smoke. So I think this next song of Alexi's, uh, we just I thought I'd just be great to have it sung tonight. I see the fires I see them burning up the hill I see the oceans Another month, another spill I see the air Getting worse and worse But still The wheels keep turning I see the forests being printed as receipts And I see the rich with politicians in their sheets And the wheels keep turning
why I put this song after that one. It was um, probably a moment's bit of badness, but because it has nothing to do with any of this, and it's really, I put it in because I know there's some, in our, some of my fans are out there wondering, where did that, where did the cheap and trashy Connie go that we liked so much, and <laughs> all that tasteless material she wrote, like jerks, and the f get lucky, and all of that stuff that, you know, has no redeeming value whatsoever, but we love it. Well, here she is. <laughs> I I think it's I've been I just have been thinking about my friend uh, Debbie Bartman, whose uh, mom made the best Ukrainian pickles in the world. She might have liked this song, but she probably had more taste and more refinement. But I'm gonna think because this song is not just it's actually kind of a public service announcement. It's dating advice for men. You can take notes. <laughs> you never know. And I force my son to sing it as well. It really, it's the only fun we have as parents is embarrassing our children. Isn't that really? That's it. That's Feel the eyes rolling. I can feel them. <laughs> I met a man who never had any luck at all. He'd go on a date and then he'd wait, patient for her call. But then it seemed his luck had changed and everywhere he went. He'd have a woman on his arm and they looked so content. I asked him what the secret was that made his life so nice. He said, my Ukrainian grandmother gave me some great advice. She said, if you like her pierogies, she'll like your kubasa. Listen up, you little doggies, it's a universal love. Cause some I want some cabbage rolls, some even like no slaw. But if you like her pierogies, she'll like your kubasa. Oh, there's two verses, hang on. Brace yourself for the sing-along. Not doing it all alone. It could have been an action song. Count yourself lucky. Now some men think that all it takes is a fancy car. Some men think that money will make up for who they are. And some men think it's chocolates and flowers and you'll score. But if they listen to their grandmothers, it all come back for more. Cause you can read of Mars and Venus, you can Test. But if you're lucky enough to be Ukrainian, Baba knows best. She says, if you like her pierogies, she'll like her kubasa. Listen up, you little doggies, it's a universal love. Some like buns, some cabbage rolls, some even like coleslaw. But if you like her pierogies, she'll like her kubasa. Everybody now! If you like her pierogies, like your Cuba song. Listen up, you little doggies. It's a universal law. Cause some like one, some cabbage roll, some even like gold slum. But if you like her pierogies, she'll like your Cuba song. Oh, you guys, such a good beat ticket. You can like that flavor of sour cream or the bacon, and you like your Cuba song. 
Thank you. Someday I'm going to do an album called Connie Callers. Like I'm going to call myself Boom Boom Latour. It's called Boom Boom Latour Sings the Worst of Connie Calder. I'm going to make that album, I swear, someday. I've got a whole list of songs that really have no value whatsoever. There'll come a time when nobody needs you. That's when you need yourself. Remember all of the things you forgot Bounty that's up on your shelf You're the one with more on the table More than the sum of your parts Needs come and go just like directions Sometimes it fits and it starts There'll come a time, there'll come a time Time when it's all up job is left up to you. Love yourself, no matter the timing, and that love must last and be true. Love that goes through all of your living, love that helps you stand. Love that knows and is always forgiving, knows you're doing the best that you can. So there'll come a time There'll come a time, time when it's all up to you. There'll come a time, there'll come a time, time when it's all up to you. I think I'll dedicate this last verse to Lisa Laflamme. There'll come a time when nobody wants you. That's a hard place to be. You gotta want. Hold your head high as you walk on out, leaving the key. You gotta want the best for yourself. Bring it out every day. You gotta want to make sure that the people around you feel the same way. So they'll come a time. They'll Southern Saskatchewan. I don't want you thinking of any big like Schwacken BC River like the Fraser or anything. Roaring out of the mountains. No, it comes out of the wood where it comes out of the wood mountain hills and ends up in Old Wives Lake. So why rush? It's the local picnic spot, the local parking spot. Probably half a Gravelberg, Saskatchewan owes its life to the banks of the Little Wood River.
as that sun goes down Throw our arms around each other Until the dreams that are deep In the heart As the heart is bigger than trouble And the heart is bigger than doubt But the heart sometimes needs a little help To figure that out So won't you Stop us going. Or them willows growing, or all of the lovers showing their hearts to each other. Because the heart is bigger than trouble, and the heart is bigger than doubt. But the Thank you. Paul got a request for him to sing something because he's with it. He's he sing, Paul sang with his a group called Heart Rouge with his sisters Falabuan. Yeah, I, I envied all of their family harmonies for years until I could make a couple of my own. Uh, <laughs> now I got my. I played the long game. Now this and this song is a song we do as a duet. It's a duet. It's a duet. And it's uh, it's kind of an old-fashioned. Uh, actually, Roy Forbes and I wrote it. Yeah, Roy, 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 Roy. And we wanted to uh, write something that our mothers would like, because you know, not all of my material like pierogies or get lucky. They just cheapen my set, but you know. She doesn't understand that my audience is cheap, too. <laughs> Gotta serve my audience. So this, this is a kind of a love song. And ironically, bo both Roy's mom and my mom said the exactly the same thing we're comparing notes later. When they heard it for the first time, they said, Oh, honey, why can't you write more songs like that? We sang it at my sister-in-law, at Paul's sister's, Michelle's wedding in the just before the fight. Yeah, just before the fight in the basement of the church. You think we're you think we're lying. We are not lying. It's a five or six Ryan Cokes can bring it out. That Saskatoon moon is calling to me. It rises so bright. The 
sweetheart I know I had to leave Try to make a new start But how far can you go When you don't have your heart I long to hear that meadowlark sing I can't tell you how happy we are to be here performing for people that aren't our family. <laughs> Just our family, all four of them. We are too. <laughs> I'm so happy you came out tonight, and I'm just grateful for all of you who help keep a space like this open so that people can come. And to Longevity John over there and his uh, doing this uh, surprisingly and for choosing such a lovely shirt. I love that. <laughs> Although I have, uh, he did in fact introduce, this, the first time he came here, introduce Alex C to the nose flute, something we may never forgive him for again, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know how it is, you start a movement. And no, we aren't, you didn't bring your nose flute, did you? We got extras. Oh. <laughs> ah! Even does classical music with his nose flute. Yeah. yeah, I've heard it. So I, I'm, I want to thank you all, and I'm, I, I don't know. This song just seems to resonate with me these days because I, I just feel we've all. Uh, so many of my friends are just managed to get through. You got some love, you got some hope, you got a hundred different ways in your life in which you cope. You got some love, you got a heart, a bunch of tears on the standby in case things fall apart. But there comes a time with everything. I finally got a hell of a trouble for the past. You got your life, you got your place. Till you looked inside your heart, found that little empty space. There comes a time with every day.
Alexi Campagne, the lovely, our fabulous sound person. Santa sitting here. <laughs> I've been, I've, he's been kind of glowering at me also. But we're gonna sing a little little Christmas song. From the new from the new Christmas C D that Connie put out in twenty twenty. Yeah, yeah. I, I nothing I know I know my marketing, right? Man, let's just start. Just before CDs a pandemic, let's a make a pandemic. CD. Wow. I don't know, you just write when it happens, you know? It's snowing outside, it's coming in the door, there's not much left of this year anymore. I am making cookies, the kitchen's getting warm, I'm sorry I just got it wrong. I'm looking through the window, <laughs> gathering storm, but I'm sitting in the kitchen while Kitchen's getting warm and it's Christmas Eve and we talked yet and all the fancy dishes, just not as many chairs. Still I will light the candle on my Christmas table. It's the time of year and need a little light. Yes, I One for every one I love that can't be here tonight. So I guess I'll call you up, get you on the screen. It's not perfect, but it'll have to do. And we can wish each other Merry Christmas and close with that old favorite I love. Cause it's Christmas Eve And we'll count on many blessings And fill our little cup And I will light the candles On my Christmas table It's the time of year You need a little light I will light the candles On my Christmas table There's one for everyone I love that can't be here tonight. So let the snow come down and blanket everything. Cause it's Christmas Eve and I will sing
Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Um, we're just delighted. Thanks. Bye, Alexei. I'm trying.